Hey guys, how y'all doing? Welcome to the channel. Today's video, I am in Dewsbury. This is the first video I've ever done in Dewsbury. Super excited to be here. Just before I start the video, just want to say a very quick thank you to Uber Eats for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for making it happen, guys. Thank you so much for the discount code, which is going to be somewhere on the bottom of the screen and also in the description. So thank you so much for that. But I am here in Dewsbury. I'm trying to time this well because I want to walk and seamlessly get Drip Burger, which is where I'm reviewing today, into the video. But I'm not very good at that, so I'm just going to walk up fast and then go, there you go. <laughs> you can see it behind me. That's called a Drip Burger. Obviously, as the name would suggest, I hear they've got some great burgers. I hear they've got some great pizza. Check them out on Insta, they look great. I checked them out online, they look great. So I thought, let's give them a go. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and get out of the sun because this is harsh lighting, guys. I'm going to walk this way this way seems better so we're gonna go inside we're gonna check the menu out together because I did have a quick look on Insta like I said but I, I don't have a, a really uh, detailed knowledge of the menu I know they do good burgers I think they do pizza so we're gonna look at that together now we're gonna decide what to eat we're gonna place our order and then we're gonna start the review All right, let's uh, go over like I said I know the menu a little bit but not too much and I think that's a is that a dessert shop crumbs that's a dessert shop that sounds good, but uh, it's called Drip Burger. I'm gonna go inside and hopefully crack on with a good review. I'm just gonna give you guys some quick shots whilst I'm here. Let's meet pun plate, I like it. That's not a mistake. <laughs> Eyes on the fries. Okay. All right, anyway, let's place our water, guys. Let's do it. Guys, so this is a little bit of a different review. Look at me, just relaxing on oh, this lovely sofa. So came inside, turns out they're a takeaway. Uh, they also on Uber Eats, of course. However, they don't have any seating downstairs, so they've kindly let me sit in the office. So this is a lovely experience. This is a throwback to my reviews that I did at home with the Roger Federer couch, uh, Roger Federer cushion. So if you know what that is, you're an OG, so thank you so much. They're so nice in here. If you can hear that fan, it's warm. They put a fan on for me as well, which is lovely. So we've got, ooh, fillet of fish, which fillet of drip, which sounds nice. We've got a pizza section, which uh, is cool. I love a good pizza, guys. If you can nail burgers and pizzas, where are the burgers actually? So we've got kids section there. We've got sides, ziggy fries, jalapeno poppers, mozzarella sticks, loaded fries. Got where's the... ah? Here we go. See if I didn't turn it over. So this this is what I should have showed you first, guys. So this is drip burger, right? And then we've got a little beef section and the chicken section. And then we have this side as well. So those are some shots of the menu. I'm gonna get a variety of different stuff. I wanna try and hit different sections. So if you come in here and one person wants like a burger, one person wants like a pizza, I wanna be able to say what's good. So I'm gonna, do you know what? It's a tough job, guys. Someone's gotta do it. I've gotta eat all this hopefully delicious food. I'm gonna place my order now from do I have to go down from this couch? I'm gonna place my order from this couch and then uh, we'll start the review. So we're gonna come over to the pizza. I've not seen this yet, I'm hoping for... Oh, hello. Hello, okay. Okay, I'm ex okay, I'm excited to try that. Then, hold on, I can't, can I one hand this? Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ruin, there we go, I didn't ruin it. Right, oh, okay, we've got a couple of bits and bobs here. Oh, so we've got a Philly cheese steak and a pulled finger, that sounds, Okay, here we go. Oh, lovely. So, we've got some crisscross fries here with I think, I imagine that's like their home sauce. We've got a Philly cheese steak there, which I was not expecting, I love Philly cheese steak. Uh, and then I think that might be like pulled chicken, I think, but I'm gonna ask them before I eat that so I'll get it right. And then we've got something in here as well. Oh, okay, drip burger. So these are the fries, I think they're like kind of loaded fries. Oh, okay, we've got some Cheetos going on. This guy's just like filled to the brim, which is a good thing. And I've got a ton of sauces. I've actually got some really funky sauce names and like funky looking sauces. Um, lots of different flavors. I'm probably not gonna try every single one because there's so many of them, but they've got, okay. This one just stuck out to me. I can't use my hands apparently, so thank you, brother. Right, this one, I love the, oops. Oh. That was good. I don't know what that sauce was, but it was nice. So we've got a green one, which that just stands out to me, and blue. We're gonna try, this is blue flavor. We're gonna try blue. Uh, truffle, wow, so that's like a truffle based sauce, but it's blue. We've got a Hall Halloween sauce. I don't know what that's gonna be. I'm looking forward to trying those. 
These have got some cool names. Calamity Jane going on over here. That's interesting. We've got Buffalo Bill. That's interesting, but, oh, and Pink Trip. I'm just gonna show them all to you, why not? Uh, but we've got this food here, and then we've actually got more food coming. So, but I think, I'm not gonna wait for that food. I think I'm just gonna crack on and start on this snack. It looks great. So I'm gonna take my hoodie off, because it's quite a warm day today, which is nice. That is, is so much better. I think I'm just gonna have to go for this pizza, because it looks really good. It looks chunky. This is like a heavy pizza. So we're gonna have to start with this pizza. I mean, this just looks chunky. Look at this, this looks like a pizza pie. Looks absolutely massive. It's full of toppings, which is, oh, look at that. Guys, right, if I can just bring that to the camera. Look at the depth. That is like the deep end of a pool. That is super deep. It's quite heavy. I feel like I'm holding a dumbbell in a good way. The chicken tandoori pizza. I got some uh, tandoori chicken on there, <laughs> obviously. Uh, we got some three quarts of onions and peppers. There's a ton of stuff going on there. That is as flavorful as you'd expect, as heavy as you'd expect. There's so much cheese going on, there's so much flavor. They are not skimping on toppings, man. That is delicious. But what stuck out to me was the actual base. It's like a deep pan pizza. It's gonna be maybe tough, quite pillowy, if you will. Kind of heavy, right? That's actually got a little bit of lightness to it, some aeration going on there. So it's actually a really good base. A little bit of a crunch going on when you bite into it, and then some chewiness coming through, which I think works really, really well on a pizza. That is gonna get devoured. That's just gonna get devoured. So I'm gonna probably end up taking some of this food home, but that's the first thing that's gonna get devoured. I can already tell, I love that pizza. That is tasty. I'm liking the toppings, they're just generous with that, but the pizza itself works. I need to move on, but I'm gonna come back to that. Okay, so. I'm gonna try something next now, which actually is not on the menu. These are gonna be added to the menu. So we've got a pulled chicken sort of finger there. They've got a little Philly cheese steak there and some crisscross fries as well. I'm gonna try this though, because I do love a Philly cheese steak actually. Oh, it's soft. I think this looks like a lovely little snack size, I would say. Let's give that a go. You can't go wrong with like steak cheese, onions in a soft like brioche type vibe. You just can't go wrong with that. It's impossible. Honestly guys, I could just eat these like over and over because they're like a good size and they're quite Moorish. I could genuinely just have like a hundred of these. Let's try this pulled chicken one next. I'm not sure if this will be in like a box, but I feel like this would be a good box. So you can get like one of the Philly cheese steak, one of the pulled chicken one, and then you've got the crisscross rice. I feel like that would be a good box. So if you're from Drip Burger and you're watching this, make this into a box. I think instead of selling them individually, a box would be good. Nailed it. I would say I think I prefer the steak. Chicken lovers get the chicken, but for me, it's all about that steak. The pulled chicken has like a peri peri type flavor. I think the Philly cheese steak for me is like, it's quite soft, it's quite tender. I think steak and onions just work really, really well. A bit of cheese in there, that's tasty. But it's time to do what we came here for. Let's try the burgers. What I like is they actually have the names of the burgers on the actual boxes. For me, as a reviewer, that is very helpful because I can cross-reference to the menu, which is right here. So I can just go in here and look there, but it's so warm in here. I think I'm gonna have a mocktail first. So we've got two. I'm so glad that mocktails have just become a thing. Like, I feel like they didn't used to be a thing. I feel like mocktails didn't used to be a thing, but they are now, and I like that. I think that's good because I like a good mocktail. It's nice to have a bit of variety uh, as opposed to just having like a Coke or like a Fanta or like a, I don't drink Coke anymore, uh, like a Pepsi or something like that. It's nice having a bit of variety, I think. So we're gonna try this red one first. What have I done with my straw? Ah, here we go. I always seem to fluff this process. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this. That's got such a strong strawberry flavor. It's so much better than getting like a Coke. It's like an upgrade. I love a good mocktail. That is probably one of the better ones I've had because it's got very deep strawberry flavor, but it's also very fizzy. Some of the mocktails I had have not been fizzy enough. I want it to like replace a fizzy drink, but just be a bit fruity and a bit different, and that one does it. The pink one I think is like a, um, tastes like a bubble gummy type thing, but again, I'll, I'll put everything on the screen so you guys can see it. It's got a little bit of a bubble gummy type flavor, but not totally. That one I'm not fully sold on, still good. Decent, uh, perfectly serviceable, but honestly, this one is the one I'll drink eight days a week. I quite enjoy that. I think that's really good. I'd have that with my burger. Now it's time for the burgers. This place is called Drip Burger. They've nailed it with the pizzas. I like that mocktail. They've nailed it with the little box of like stuff they had with the Philly cheese steak, the pulled chicken, 
the crisscross fries. I feel like this has become very formal and serious. Guys, I've nailed it with the Philly cheese steak. <laughs> but they have, it was really good. But I wouldn't go for burgers. Now we've still got uh, some peri chicken. I think it's peri chicken. We've got some loaded fries and I will go over those, but I'm here for the burgers. I, I, I want a couple of good burgers. I want a good chicken burger and I want a good beef burger. I'm gonna try first the Sicario. I like that they have stuff on the actual boxes to say what's what. Um, Cause then if you're with lots of people, you'd have to open every box and pass it around. It's nice just to have a sticker. Ooh, visually. Hello, that looks good. A couple of smash patties, a good amount of caramelization on those. Um, we've got some nachos, that might be some guac. It could be some guac. I'm gonna check to see what that is. Some gherkins, some onions. Guys, that's looking all right. That's looking a bit of all right. Wow, this actually looks fantastic. The amount of flavor in my mouth right now. The fattiness from the beef, rich flavor from the guacamole, which has got some chili in it, I can taste that. Acidity from the onion, crunch from the actual little nacho chips in there as well. You've got the flavors, you've got the textures, you've got a little bit of gherkin going on there and they're cut well too, they're actually chunky. Guys, there's no other word for it. That is getting a hey man. That is absolutely delicious. I did not expect something so good. I don't mean that as an insult. Eight out of 10 is a great score for a burger, super tasty. Hey man is for nine out of 10 and over. You don't get that many nine out of tens, man. That is one of them. That's getting a hey man, 100% all day long. Ah, oh, I know I said I'd go back to the pizza, but it's, oh, it's gonna have to be the burger. It's, it's gonna have to be the burger. I've got the chicken next and I don't know if chicken is going to live up to beef because the chicken, uh, the beef was, ah, oh, that was so good. That, the Sicario, if you're in Dewsbury, in the area, you're getting that. I almost feel a little bit nervous for the chicken now, weirdly, because I'm like, that's so good. That is going to be hard to kind of beat, but you never know, do you? You just, you just never know. This one, guys, is called the Chicken Royale. It's got some flaming hot Cheetos on there. Um, it's got obviously some fried chicken. You can just about see. I will pick it up. In a second, we've got some cheese sauce. Yum, I enjoy that. Onion rings, jalapenos, and their drip blondie sauce. Talking of the sauces, really, they do actually sell them all individually little tubs like I showed you earlier, and I'm gonna try them because it's a little bit different, isn't it? Let me just show you this bad boy. There's a lot going on there. You can see the cheese sauce. There's some um, Cheetos in there, of course, as well. Good amount of chicken. There's actually quite a lot going on here. So, you know, there's a lot that could go right and a lot that could go wrong, so let's give it a go. That chicken burger was good. I still prefer the beef. That is a hey man burger, but the chicken burger, just the crunchiness in it, the flavor in it. One thing you gotta say, when I looked at the Insta, the first thing I thought was very vibrant, lots of colors, I hope this flavor. These guys pack flavor in every cubic centimeter. There is so much flavor packed in, insane. It's a great, oh, that's really good. There are other takeaways in Jewsbury that are like this. Then this is a strong food scene. This is the first, first place I have reviewed in Jewsbury and I love it. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna end up talking about these burgers too much. So what we're gonna do now, guys, because there's other food to go, is I'm gonna go and try the peri chicken because they have that on the menu as well. I thought I'd give that a go. I'm gonna just get into this. This is a half chicken. Decent size, it's saucy, which I like. Nothing worse than a dry piece of peri chicken. So that's a good thing. Let's get a little bit of rice, which kind of looks like a pilau, kind of looks like an Asian style rice, to be honest. Done it again. They've done it again. That is such a good piece of chicken. It's soft, it's like tender. There's no like, I went for the breast first and I always do it as a little test for myself because if anything, anything's gonna be dry, it's gonna be the breast. So in my head, I'm like, if the breast is not dry, the leg's probably not gonna be dry, right? And the breast is super soft, it's incredibly tender. I think if I was coming here, I don't know what, I don't know what I'd get. If I was feeling healthy, I would get uh, this because it's like grilled chicken and rice and salad, a good amount of salad too, maybe a mocktail. If I was feeling fancy, I think I'd get the burgers and I'd get the pizza. These guys who own Drip Burger actually own Crumbs. I'm tempted, I'm tempted to do a review for Crumbs as well. So we shall see, but that'll be in a separate video. First takeaway in Dewsbury and I'm loving it. But what I'm gonna do now, guys, I'm gonna try these funky sauces. I'm gonna try the funkiest ones because they look cool. I love the colors on these. I think that's really cool. I normally don't do segments in videos for sauces, but because these sauces are so different, they look so vibrant. Honestly, they just look cool. They look cool. So. They're all handmade, they're done here. I feel like I should try them, so I'm gonna get my fork. I'm not even gonna chip them, because I want the sauce as it is with no other flavors competing with them. We're gonna start with the Halloween, and then we're gonna go for the Frenchies truffle. So let's just try that. That's a little bit spicy, a little bit creamy. It kind of tastes like a mint chutney uh, with spice in it. It's kind of hot, it's building. 
and it's building. <laughs> Let's now try the Frenchies truffle. I just love that it's blue, guys. I love, love, oh, I've got green in it. Oh. Frenchies truffle is nice. I think that would go well with chicken and fish. If I had to do anything with that, chicken and fish, I think the Halloween would go well with anything. I'm probably not gonna try all of the sauces. Guys, they've got so many. Give them a go. Let me know what you think in the comments. I did not see the amount of chicken that was under there. So we've got some fried chicken under there, which is awesome. Look at that. Oh, I'm gonna get a big old, uh... oh, hold on. Here we go, some crinkly fries at the bottom. I'm getting a big mouthful of this. I review a lot of loaded fries. I always say they're not to my preference. But this one, because the amount of chicken they give you, and the amount of like sauce that's on there, and the crunch from the Cheetos, I could be convinced. I could be convinced, I'll tell you why, because I normally don't like the lack of crunch in a loaded fry, but because they put Cheetos on there, you get the crunch there, jewelry, it works. It works. All right, so I've just come around the corner. I've left my stuff actually up there. What a lovely area. I've never been to Dewsbury, and it's like lots of trees and like nice houses, and it's just a really nice area. But uh, yeah, really enjoyed my time there. That beef burger, guys, you need to get the beef burger. Definitely make sure you get that. The um, steak things I had, they're gonna put that on the menu. I, don't, I just had a chat with them. I think what they should do is make that into like a little box, and maybe they'll do that. Maybe they won't, I don't know. A little mega box type thing I think would be quite fun. Definitely get the beef burger. The mocktail, the strawberry one, was really, really good. The pizza was great. I'm not a massive fan of loaded fries, so I would personally skip those. If I'm being completely frank, I would probably skip those. But they were good. If you're a fan of loaded fries, you're likely to enjoy those. I'm just not a massive fan of loaded fries. Uh, but burgers on point, pizza on point, the chicken, if you're going for something healthy, because there's always one guy in the group that wants something healthy because they go to the gym, they need the protein. So if you want that, get the chicken. It's very tender, it's very soft. You've got a good little portion of salad and rice there. But for me, I would get the beef burger all day long, for sure. And I would get the pizza all day long and the mocktail. They're the things that I would 100% implore you to get. They're probably my favorite items. But uh, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much to Uber Eats for sponsoring this video. Again, I'll try and flash that discount code here and it'll be in the description as well. So if you do want to check these guys out, they're on Uber Eats, feel free to order and it helps support the channel. So I will really appreciate that as well. So if there are any places in the Juicy area that you want me to review, please just let me know in the comments. I promise I will check it out. I read every single comment and uh, yeah, I will try and check it out. But that takes me all the way to the end of the video. Thank you so much for staying by right until the end. There should be some more content somewhere on the screen for you to watch. Do all the fun stuff. Do the liking stuff, the subscribing stuff, not the disliking stuff. You can do all the fun stuff. <laughs> but I'll see you guys in that next video. Bye 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 bye.